So hopefully you've noticed that all the resistors you've been working with, all these billions of resistors that we have in the classroom, uh, all have a bunch of colored stripes on them here. All right, I'm going to do two examples with two different, you know, kind of random pictures here, random resistors, of how to figure out what that means. That is telling you what's called the nominal resistance of a resistor. Now it's called a nominal, that means, actually there's a word of the day last week, uh, but it means in name, uh, potentially in name only. All right, uh, a manufacturer can't guarantee that the exact resistance is what this magic color code says it is, but it can be pretty close. All right, so the nominal resistance is what this says the resistance is. In reality, it might be plus, you know, above or below by, I don't know, let's say 5%. All right, uh, you will take, you know, in the activity, you'll take a bunch of resistors, figure out what the color code says the resistance is, and then actually measure it with the multimeters and compare and contrast. All right, uh, the first three colors tell you the, what the nominal resistance is, and then the last color, if you notice, if you look on them in class, they all have a either a, a goldish stripe or a silver stripe. Actually, they probably all have gold, because gold's better. Uh, and that's, you know, we spare no expense here at McClure North. Uh, but what it is, it tells you how close you can expect the actual resistance to be to the nominal resistance. Okay, so I'm going to alt-tab. I'm going to alt-tag back and forth here and there during these problems. Hopefully it does not give you a headache. So here's the warning. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. Boom. So this is the color code right here. All right. So the, there's four bands, and if it's it's better when, like, the fourth one's kind of a little bit further away like this one is, but that's not always the case. Uh, the first band tells you the first digit in the resistance. Okay, and this is the code right here. Black, brown, red. Orange, yellow, green, blue, green. Okay, you guys can read. I don't know why I'm doing that. All right. The second digit tells you, or excuse me, the second color tells you the uh, second digit. And then the third, third stripe, the third color tells you, well, they say multiplier, and that's right. That's really what you multiply the first two digits by to get the uh, resistance. But the easiest way to remember it is it's just how many zeros come afterwards. So if the last color, I mean this right here is green, so that means that there are five zeros that come after the, I guess that's supposed to be orange. So this one right here, let's see if I can, uh, I, don't, I don't think I can write on this. Uh, but the orange means three, the white means nine, and the green means five zeros. So I'll, I'll tab back three, nine, and five zeros, so I mean, it's three, I'm ugh, frustrated. Three, nine, one, two, three, four, five zeros is this one here. Three, nine, five zeros. Okay, green is five. Okay, so the color, each color just represents a number, and the first stripe is the first digit, second stripe, second digit, third stripe, uh, how many zeros come afterwards. So three, seven, five, or whoops, yeah, three, nine, five, sorry, sorry, three, nine, and then five zeros. And the unit of measurement for resistance is ohms. So heck, I'll just do an example of engineering notation real quick. Three, six, 3.9 times 10 to the six, and so that's mega ohms. So that's a heck of a resistor. That's, uh, I'm sure there are applications for that, but off the cuff, I can't think of anything. All right, probably much, much larger than any we have in the room. Uh, so the last thing is, or the last stripe, this stripe here, this stripe here, and it's not the next page, idiot, it's over here, uh, it's the tolerance. What that means is that basically the actual resistance the manufacturer is basically just guaranteeing that the actual resistance is either plus or minus the tolerance from what the, it says it is. Okay, so it's either 5% above or 5% below, or at least that's what it's saying if the stripe is gold. It's plus or minus 10% if the stripe is silver, and then if there's none, which we don't even run to, that's super cheapo, it's plus or minus 20%. So the one I, oops, I erased it. The one I erased was plus or minus 5%. Okay, so it's the 3.9 million ohms plus or minus 5% off of that. So let's do the two examples I intended to do here. 
So brown, black, red, gold. So brown, black, brown, black. So it's one, zero, okay? And then red is two, so I put a couple, I don't know why I did that, a couple zeros afterwards. It's this many ohms, so it's one kilo ohm if you want to be technical, you want to do it right. So the gold means plus or minus 5%. So how do you figure out what the window is, the, the maximum and minimum value of the actual resistance that you would measure with a really, with an ohm meter? All right, and so this one I chose because the, num the numbers are really easy. What you do is you calculate 5% of the number you got. All right, so 0 0.05 times 1,000 is actually 50 ohms. Oops, it's hard enough to write ohms normally, much less with this tablet, which is difficult to work with. Okay, and so what that means is, move it up. What that means is, the window is, or the range, the tolerance range is it's a thousand plus fifty. So the max is, shoot, excuse me, the max is one thousand fifty ohms is the max oh my goodness my handwriting is absurdly bad and then 950 ohms is the min possible value so if you measure this resistor the, the, the manufacturer guaranteeing that it's going to be somewhere in there it's going to be less than 1050 and but greater than 950 the nominal value is a thousand that's what this guy is over here okay and we know that the actual value unless the manufacturer trying to pull a fast one is between these two numbers. That's the 5% tolerance thing. So boom, let's do another one. Okay, and then we'll call it a day. So red. Alright, so smartboard crashed mid through that example. So if the jump you just saw is because uh, smartboard freaked out. Uh, but yeah, okay, so starting over on this example, red is 2. So let me get something going. Let's do purple. What the heck? So red is 2. Yellow is... Alright, so how do you how do you remember the colors? Yellow is 4. How, what's a good one? Uh, so yet red is blue, 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 2. Yellow is 4. Now how do you know that? Well I just know, but because I've done this before, the way, uh, one way of remembering it is the middle colors at least are very Roy G. Roy, Roy G. Biv, if you remember the uh, mnemonic device for remembering rainbow colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. There's no indigo, but, you know, violet. All right, so it's black, brown, and then the rainbow colors, and then gray, white, are zero through nine. Okay? There's tons of mnemonic devices. I'll uh, maybe go over one or two of them in class to try to help you remember the nine colors and how they go with the nine digits. But anyway, so it's two, and then... Uh, Four, and then the green is a five, so it's five zeros ohms, which is not what the this activity asks you to do, but might as well for practice. This is two point four, boom boom. You gotta move six places to get there, so it's mega ohms. Okay. Now there you go. That's the nominal value of this resistor here, um, which is pretty big. So how you find the tolerance is silver, so that's 10%, right? That's So the actual value we know, according to the manufacturer, is going to be plus or minus 10%. So 10% equals, equals 0 0.1. So you do the 24, uh, or 2.4 million, I should say, times 0.1. Oh good, gosh, that's a point one. Let me uh, get rid of that. Let's pretend that never happened. Um, <clears throat> times zero point one, all sorts of craziness. Okay, and so you get two point four. Uh, bleh. This is obnoxious. So it's only four zeros instead of. 
uh, five. So basically what that means is that it's the max and then the min, I'll do them kind of the same time, min is the max is 24 or 2.4 million, I keep on saying it wrong, plus the 24, 0, 0, 0, 0, yeah, whatever that works out to be, I won't insult you, I mean, whatever the, how that, however math that works out, however the math that works out, and then, and that's of course in ohms, and I'm going to be super lazy, partially just because my handwriting is atrocious on this, with this thing, but, and then the nominal value, the 2.4 million ohms, uh, minus the calculation you get up here and whatever works out that works out to be so that's the max and the min value and let me fix this that's hideous min. that's still not great but oh well good enough all right so the max is whatever this works out to be ohms okay and then the min is what this works out to be, ohms. All right, so there you go. Hopefully that is helpful. There's other stuff on that activity, but I think this was the hardest stuff, and I want to make sure to go over it. So I will put this on YouTube, and you guys should be able to see it tonight.